Traditional dance forms from Andhra Pradesh has a history of 2000 years. Sadly, during the Mughal and British era, it lost its relevance. Deservedly, in the 20th century, both these dance forms got a new lease of life. We are talking about Andhra Natyam and Perini. Perini, for the longest time in history, was shrouded in obscurity. In its heydays, Perini stood out as a cultural symbol and the pride of Kakatiya dynasty. One man responsible for its turnaround, Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna, erudite scholar and the greatest guru responsible for reviving the ancient dance forms of Andhranatyam and Perini. Bharata Kalaprapurna, Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna. Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna was born in 1923 to a migrant couple, Damayanti Devi and Ramamohan Rao from Andhra in Bali, Indonesia. He spent his boyhood at Ramakrishna Math in Madras and that gave him a spiritual bent of mind. From a young age, Ramakrishna was interested in dance. His elder brother, Shamasundar, encouraged him and was Ramakrishna's first mentor. Shamasundar was multifaceted personality, a painter and a sculpturist. His inquisitive mind, coupled with Ramakrishna's inclination towards dancing, opened up a whole new world for Ramakrishna. During his employment stint at Sri Kalahasti, Shamasundar assigned Ramakrishna as a disciple under the tutelage of temple dance Naidupeta Rajamma. The training under her was no less than meditation for Ramakrishna. He got a chance to learn and research on ancient texts like Bharatharnavam and Nritya Ratnavali. Thenceforth, Ramakrishna's father, Ram Mohan Rao, admitted him to Ramakrishna Math in Matras. During this time, for a brief period, he learned Bharatanatyam under Meenakshi Sundaram Pillai. It was here, at the library, Ramakrishna studied the work of Ananda Kumaraswamy, metaphysician, pioneering historian and philosopher of Indian art. This helped Ramakrishna to critically analyze and understand dance forms. His quest for education took him to Nagpur from Madras. Along with academics, he pursued the psychology and aesthetics of dance forms. Although his forefathers were great patrons and proponents of fine arts, his father discouraged him and asked his son to concentrate on academics. By this time, Nataraja Ramakrishna had decided and dedicated his life for dance and antagonized his parents and relatives. Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna left the family and abandoned his rich share in property for the sheer love of art. For him, dance was not an obsession, it was contemplation. After learning about Ramakrishna's exceptional dancing skills, the then Raja of Bandara Royal Court, Raja Ganapati Rao Pandya, invited him to perform in the Royal Court. Spellbound by Ramakrishna's sheer talent, the Raja appointed him in the royal court and bestowed the title of Nataraja. Thank you. 
He learned Kathak under Kathak exponent Sundarji, equating himself with the nuances and intricacies of the dance form. He also experimented with other dance forms during this time in Nagpur. In 1947, when India gained independence, along with other princely states, the princely state of Bandara was politically integrated to the Republic of India. And Ramakrishna returned to Andhra Pradesh to dedicate his life for the art. He was extended an invitation to visit Nellore by famous Telugu Sini comedian Ramana Reddy and activist and freedom fighter Honaka Kanakarma. At Nellore, he instituted Nritya Niketan and dedicated his life to the art form. Those were the days when dance art and artists were looked down upon by the cultured society. Refusing to take it lying down, along with the female students of Nritya Niketan, he demonstrated dance and gave lectures. The Telugus had a distinct cultural identity and spectrum of myriad classical dance traditions. After two years, he established Nritya Niketan in Guntur. Later, after teaching dance to a few students in Vishakapatnam, he settled down in Hyderabad. At Hyderabad, Ramakrishna set up Nritya Niketan, the first classical dance and performing arts academy. In the year 1956, Ramakrishna was appointed as the committee member of the newly constituted Andhra Pradesh Sangeet Natak Academy. At a regional forum in Delhi, the members rejected the proposition of Kuchipudi as a classical dance form. This riled Ramakrishna. Immediately, under the auspices of Sangeeta Natak Academy, he organized a committee and demonstrated the greatness of Kuchipudi as an art form. In 1960, to propagate Kuchipudi, he held lecture demonstrations and dance performances enthralling the audience. In 1958, at the Kuchipudi conclave, as promised to Induvadana and Vaidehi, he set out to revive the forgotten dance form of Lasya Nirthya. In the Abhinaya Sadas held in 1970, on August 22nd and 23rd, the Telugu Lasya dance forms were demonstrated. The female dancers collectively decided to name the art form Andranatyam. This act of Ramakrishna revived Andranatyam. After this seminar, he devoted his life to the revival of Andhra Natyam. Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna visited USSR and France as research scholar sponsored by the government of India in 1975 to propagate Indian dance art and to make a comparative study on Indian and Western classical and folk dancers. To compile all these into an academic rigor, Ramakrishna invited 19 artists and constituted another conclave in 1972. This way, giving the art form a pedestal and training artists in the Gurukul system. Thus, teaching Andranatyam to generations. After Sri T. Anjaya took over as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, he constituted Andhra Pradesh Dance Academy and appointed Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna as the president. Lasya Natya was formally given a seal of approval as Andhra Natyam in 1982 at the Dance Academy under the leadership of Dr. Ramakrishna. Being a pioneer or revivalist is not an easy task. It requires uncommon courage of conviction and perseverance. Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna was the pioneer who dwelled deep into the subject of classical dance forms emerging out of the Telugu land and later showcased this to the world. As a classical dance form of Telugu people, he brought recognition to Andhra Natyam. Nataraj Ramakrishna's repertoire included Shabdam, Tarangam, Ramayana Kirtana, Padalu, Javali and Tillana that constituted close to 300 dance styles and Abhinaya. Today, Andhra Natyam is famous around the world 
for its perfect blend of Agama Nartanam, Astana Nartanam and Prabhanda Nartanam. Along with the revival of Andhra Natya, he also renewed the 10th century Kakatiya art form of Perini Thandav. To learn the intricacies, Ramakrishna spent considerable time at Ramapa temple understanding the temple sculptures. He used this experience to revive the Perini dance form. Shiva Thandavam is a cosmic mix constituting the intricacies of Agama dance poses, Karana and Angahar in Natya Shastra. Tandava Nrityam as described in the Nritya Ratnavali. Perini Thandavam and Perini Shiva Thandavam was performed by men before going to war to motivate themselves. This is also called the dance of the warriors. Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna believed that folk art forms are as important as the classical forms and hence helped in propagating Chindu Yakshaganam, Veeranatyam, Tapet Gullu, Garugula and Tholu Bamalata. He will be remembered for his valuable contribution. Nataraja Ramakrishna did his bit in positioning Taramati Baradari as a tourism attraction of Hyderabad. Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna, as a result of his research on Andhra classical dance forms, wrote many books. The lucidity of an explanation about the classical dance form is the hallmark in his writings. He published close to 60 books on various topics, giving multiple dimensions for his readers. During his lifetime, Dr. Nataraja Ramakrishna was bestowed with numerous awards, honorary doctorate and recognitions. Many of his disciples today are taking the legacy of Andhra Natyam and Perani forward and performing on national and international stage. Sampada Silicon Andhra Music and Performing Arts and Dance Academy, under the guidance of Dina Babu Kondu Bhatla, is celebrating the Golden Jubilee of Andhra Natyam Perini Shivatandavam. Dina Babu Kondu Bhatla and Sampada is thankful to all who have contributed to this noble cause.